Hi guys, uh, hope you're well today. Um, hope you've all had a nice Christmas. Uh, I know Christmas time isn't for everybody, but if it is for you, I hope you've had a brilliant time. Uh, I've had a quiet one here, to be honest. Um, but I thought it was time to make a um, CD update video showing some of my recent um, acquisitions from uh, pretty much eBay or Music Magpie. Um, it's been a while since I've been out in the wild having a hunt. Hopefully I'll get to do that soon. Um, and also I've got a few things to show that I got um, Christmas gifts off um, my lovely girlfriend. So um, we'll make a start. This is the um, first CD that I've uh, I picked up just before Christmas. This is um, American from New Jersey. Um, classic thrash band, they need no introduction. Overkill, WFO, which I believe stands for Wide Fucking Open, or Wide Fucking Open. Um, I've got a massive hole in my Overkill collection, pretty much from Horoscope was the last, um, the last album I'd bought by them. Um, and I didn't really start again until Iron Bound. I know there's a few of my friends on the VC out there, Darcy, Metal Rom, who were big Overkill fans, and they are a great band, there's no doubt about it, but I kind of left them alone from Horoscope onwards, and it was only sort of reading reviews and people talking about Iron Bound was Overkill going back to their, their roots. But anyway, yeah, I've got this huge 20 year hole in the Overkill discography, so I've seen this fairly cheap on uh, eBay, thought I'd pick that up. I believe this is their seventh album um so i need to pick up i hear black and the other ones yeah so um made up to get that anyway overkill wfo okay next up now this one's a little bit of a, a grail for me um it's not one that's been on my list for very long but i remember um reading a few reports after phil demo originally in violence had joined machine head and the name of this band popped up and I thought I'll have to check them out. Anyway, this is one my girlfriend bought me for Christmas, so uh, thanks for that, my lovely. This is Talk, um, Phil Demel and Dean Dell, originally from Violence. This is the original 96 pressing on Mascot Records, um, their one and only release. I believe it's been re-released with a few extra tracks, but uh, what I made up about this as well is this this the talk logo there if i can get this out is actually on the jewel case and not on the album artwork and it's got a little tiny little tiny crack there but uh, all in all it's in pretty good nick so it's nice nice to have the original uh, case for that um i believe a couple of these songs on this album um were written wh whilst phil Demo and Dean Dell and Sean Killian were still still sort of doing violence after Rob Flynn had left. So it is it is a little bit violence um styly, but not, not a bit more modern really, but um yeah if you're a fan of violence I'd I'd recommend having a little listen to that. But that's talk all the way from the Bay Area. Okay, next up is two CDs by the same band. Um Bev um, over at Clarko Vision, um, I'd seen her showing a couple of their albums. Uh, I'd heard of them, never heard them, and as as always on the VC, you know you get you get hearing about all sorts of different musical styles, and, and it's one of those lovely things about it. I've said it before, you get to hear all sorts of stuff that you wouldn't probably ever bother with. Um, but you know people's musical taste, you, you've got to respect for them, so you think I'm going to check them out. So I've picked up um, Sabaton. Now I believe these are Swedish. So this is Carolus Rex. I believe that's their sixth album. And I also picked up Sabaton, The Last Stand, which I believe is their eighth album. Both on um, Nuclear Blast Records. Now these are power metal. Not heavy power metal, 
Um, I, I don't even know how I would I would I would I would explain them to be honest with you. But um, listening to the songs and the lyrics, it was like it was like a history lesson. I enjoyed it very much. It, it wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be, um, but I've enjoyed it very much. Yeah, really good. Um, all factual lyrics about wars and battles and, and historical events. Um, very good. Very uh, lots of you know orchestration in there and since. But, but yeah, and again, I've said it before. Nuclear blast uh, on the label. You know, you you can't go too far wrong with that label, can you? And I picked these both up off uh, on Music Magpie. Um, I think they were about. I think I picked them up for six quid for the pair, so we're uh, absolutely made up with them. Yeah, um, very good. Nice one, Bev. Thanks for that. Okay, next up, and again, this is another band that, that I didn't really pay any attention to. I've said it before. But I've had so many, uh, so many friends on the VC mention them and talk about how, how passionate they are about them. So I've started filling, filling that, um, that hole with this band in my collection. I've got this is my fourth, fourth album I've bought by these quite recently. Um, English classic heavy metal band, Saxon from Barnsley. Now I believe this is their second release on um, 1980 I'm not sure about the label Electrola EMI yeah but um, yeah I, like I said before on other videos I've got a friend who's a massive Saxon fan um, and yeah just uh, I never gave him the time of day back in the day but I'm really enjoying him really enjoying him and um, I need to pick up Strong Arm of the Law, I believe it is. Um, there's a couple of other ones. Um, I do remember, uh, what's the song? Like the Wind, I think it's called something like Off Destiny. I, I do remember that coming out back in the day, in the late 80s. Ride Like the Wind, I think it is, maybe. Correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah, I'm, uh, I'm loving them. So I made up to pick up that. Another Music Magpie one. This one, oh, buzzing about this, and again, English heavy metal band, legendary heavy metal band, their 18th album. Um, I picked this up on Music Magpie for £2.50 delivered. I'm always a little bit wary with Music Magpie when I'm buying gatefolds. Digipacks are not my, they're not my favourite at all, but as you can see, it's in, it's in proper good nick, that, isn't it? Um, this is 2006 release on Steam Hammer. Um, add to my Motorhead collection, which is growing month by month. One of those bands again. Um, I've always had Ace of Spades and Bomber, Overkill. Um, but I went to see them a few years back in Liverpool with a friend of mine, um, and it got me just turned me on right back onto them. So I've been filling me, uh, filling my collection up, little by little. I've said it before, I'm a tight arse, so I don't, I don't tend to spend a lot of money. You know, most of these CDs that you ever see me show, I pay anything from 150, maybe, maybe four pounds about the tops I pay for them, unless I really want them. You know, if you're on a grail, I don't mind paying a little bit more then. But um, yeah, Motorhead, cracking. Next up. This is a Swedish band, um, their second release. I would love to get their first one and I'll keep my eye out for it uh, again when it's cheaper. But this is uh, a band called Morbus Tron. Strange name for a band, but I believe Morbus Crone is some kind of ailment or an illness. Uh, and I think maybe there was a little typo anyway, they, they, they carried on with the name of this band, but um, Swedish. Um, this is 2014 release on Century Media. If you've never heard them, they're classed as um, progressive death metal. Um, they've got heavy riffs in there. The vocals are certainly death metal, real, 
really an, an anguished scream of a, of a growl. But some of the music on here is just absolutely beautiful. It's um, very atmospheric and um, I love just listening to this with my headphones on and closing my eyes and it's uh, yeah, it takes me on a bit of a journey to be honest. But yeah, very good. I'm looking forward to picking up their uh, their next stuff. But if you know if you're into the growly, screamy vocals, it might not be for you. But uh, musically, very good. I believe they're not going anymore, which is unfortunate. But um, yeah, Morbus Tron, and the album's called Sweven. So okay, next up, uh, flying through these. Now I've only got uh, four more to show you. Um, this is, uh, like, I've got a few other albums by this band and I've been mean to pick this one up. This is a Canadian um, heavy metal band. Um, I suppose you would call them traditional heavy metal, but the uh, the singer's got a, a real screamer of a voice. Uh, not not everyone's cup of tea, I understand that, but it's, um, I like them uh, when I heard the first albums. This is the fourth release, I believe, and this is um, Three Inches of Blood. Here Waits Thy Doom. Now this is a 2009 release on the Century Media record label. Um, yeah, like I say, Canadian heavy metal. I suppose you could say a bit, bit sort of elements of thrashiness in there, but um, yeah, vocals might put a few people off, but um, I like them. Uh, three Inches of Blood. Okay, now these last three are all by the same band, um, and I was bang into this band in the late 80s. They brought out an album called Execution Guaranteed, um, which was, I thought it was a thrash a thrash album. It, it's not as heavy as a, as a proper thrash album, so they've always been classed as, as power metal, and they are classic European power metal, heavy metal. The singer's got a great voice, but I always loved Execution Guaranteed, and then the next album, Perfect Man, came out. And you could I could see that they weren't a thrash band, really, but um, I, I loved them, and I've loved them ever since. And I bought some of their earlier releases. And again, I've said it before in my other videos, I was on a journey into, into heavier and, and faster and more extreme style of music, so I kind of they got left by the wayside. So I've gone back, um, and I'm slowly picking up um, the later releases and filling those holes in my collection. Um, so this is Rage, German superb, superb power metal band. The guitarist on these three releases, uh, Victor Smolsky. Yeah, superb, um, very good guitarist. Uh, so this is Rage, Speak of the Dead. Now this is their 17th release. And I, these three I picked up, I didn't pick them up in any order, but I, I, when I looked into it, it's the 17th release. Carved in Stone is the 18th release. And Strings to a Web is their 19th release. So uh, again, I think I paid nine, it was nine pounds for all three of these um, shipped. So you can't grumble at that, can you? Um, main man, PV Wagner. He's been in him from the start. He's, he's the main man. He's, he's, he formed the band and he's the only one. And I think that's another thing, really, is, you know, when you, you're really into a band and, and you like the lineup, and, the, you know, when when members start leaving and people start coming in and out, it, it, it sort of, it's a, it messes it up a little bit. You know, it's a bit, um, I don't know what the word is, but... Um, I think when you're younger, you know, you're getting into bands, you you you, you like the musicians, you know, you, you you form a sort of a bond with the musicians, if you will. It was a case with Overkill for me when Bobby uh, Bobby Gustafson left. I was absolutely gutted. Um, and as much as the other new, two guitars who came in were great, um, it, it just wasn't quite the same for me. So yeah, that's uh, Ray Strings Strings to a Web. Carved in stone, this is a nice little uh, one, little digi pack, and it's the DVD um, one. 
I should point out as well, nuclear blast. I think they're all nuclear blasts. Yeah, all nuclear blast. That's a 2006 release. We've got um, Carving Stones, a 2008 release. And Strings to a Web is 2010. So I've still got a bit of a hole in my uh, my collection there to fill, but um, yeah, made up to pick all of, all up up all them. Um, a few more things to show you. A couple of my Christmas presents. So, so I'd shown you Talk, which my girlfriend bought me. She also bought me Razor, um, Violent Resolution, but that hasn't arrived yet. So I'll maybe show that on my next uh, next update video. But she also got me, and I made up with this, and I. I don't even, I'm gonna be a bit of an anorak, I don't even know if I'm gonna use this because of the box it came in, but I don't know if you can see that. Death, Scream, Bloody Gore, Mug. But the box in itself is uh, is a nice little thing, isn't it, you know? And when when I when I told her I was after it, I said, I, I don't want just the cup, I, you know, I want, it, I want the proper merchandise. Geek, Anorak, whatever you want to call me, I'm not bothered, but um, made up with that. Yeah, Death Screen, Bloody Go, official mug. <laughs> Happy with that. Also, she bought me this on my request. Overkill, Under the Influence t-shirt. I had this back in the day, um, and with most of them, it ends up falling to bits because I wore it that much. We came to Shred, great tune, Shred. So, uh, yeah, made up to get that. Overkill t-shirt for the collection. Made up with that. And also this book. Um, I do like to have a little bit of a read um, from time to time. And uh, this is Damn the Machine. This is the story of Noise Records. German label. Um, don't know if you can see some of the bands on there, but I'll give you a bit of time to have a little read there. Celtic Frost. Creator, Tankard, um, Grave Digger, Sabat, Voivod, Running Wild, Halloween, Mordred. I'm sure most of you people looking at this, uh, watching this, will know Noise Records, but uh, yeah, it's a nice proper uh, chunky thing, that, isn't it? So, looking forward to reading that. So, that's it, guys. Um, we have been listening to Heavy Justice. This is a Californian band, um, independent release, no barcode on the back there. I picked this up um, a few months ago, cheap as chips on eBay. But uh, again, I've told you before, I like I get, I get suckered in by the cover sometimes, if I like the look of a cover. But um, yeah, very good, sort of thrashy, thrashy traditional heavy metal. Um, this is their debut release, I don't know if they've got any others out. But uh, I suppose I should have a little look, see if they have. But um, yeah, Heavy Justice, 2013, I believe it is. Um, so as always, guys, thank you very much for taking the time to uh, to watch this video. Uh, we're getting on for 20 minutes now. So if you made it to the end, thank you. Much appreciated. Um, this year is nearly over already. Um, I joined the VC in uh, September, so it's been uh, it's been fast, sort of getting on for four months, I suppose now, isn't it? But um, that's flown. Um, if I don't make another video before the end of the year, Happy New Year to you all! Um, thanks again, everybody, for taking the time to watch comments. Love it all. Um, love you all, guys. Thanks very much, um, and I will speak to you again soon. Take care. All the best, guys.